so today we will discuss about uh, how to validate uh, date values in a file using data validator so as you can see here is a csv output input file which i've used i'll show you the data which is there inside that so as you can see i use two columns date one date two it has values this add the rate one two three four is an incorrect value and as you can see 32 is not the date this is also incorrect so i'm using a what i did is date one and date two i'm passing as a string so when you preview it right it will automatically update as date so you change it to string once you change it to string you add a sequence okay to identify a row for a file okay so then we use data validator so what i did i added a new validation by the name data validation here i pass okay i want to validate date 2 field i have given an error code date error and description is date format is not correct so data type which i am expecting is string so what i did i pass this regular expression okay what i am doing i am searching for a date which lies between 1800 to 2099 and the format has to be like for a sample date I'll show you it should be year month and date okay this format I'll be sharing on YouTube itself so once you did that we'll put a no row normalizer where we'll give type field as column name column value and new field as column name date type will be same as your field name so as i'm validating date 2 i put date 2 here when i'm validating date 1 i'll put date 1 one thing you have to remember if you use multiple data validator and you want to identify which row of a file has failed you have to put a different sequence number so here i have put value name 1 because if you use the same sequence you will not get the correct record number so as you can see i use a table output where i am inserting which record has failed so column name column value row number three columns i have designed i will show you the metadata of this also so this is the table which has no record so far it has three columns column name column value row number now if you go here I use two table output one is for date 1 one is for date 2 so here the sequence number is value name here is a sequence number value name 1 ok once we run this ok now if you go to the database you execute this now as you can see date 1 is a row number 2 I will show you the input file also directly so this is the second row so now you go to the database second row this the column name is date 1 column name is date 1 what is the incorrect date this one likewise if I go to date 2 it's a record number 1 so it's a row number 1 so in this way you can validate date as a string using data validator so you don't have to use the procedures or any functions which are inside your inbuilt database which you are using so this is the ktr which i have designed to check the valid date thank you if you like it please subscribe it thank you for watching